Just as I have planned in the global plan, Steve and I have spent the wonderful festival together as a first in the cultural interaction. The Mid Autumn Festival is one of the most important festivals in China. It has lasted for thousand years. Also, it is the representation of the reunion of the family and the traditional Chinese culture. On this day, the whole family would stay together and have the delicious meal. After the meal, everyone would do some activities like appreciating the moon, setting the virus lantern, and give our best wishes to each other. I think this is a good chance to help him experience a strong Chinese atmosphere. After the interaction. Steve could have a better understand of the Chinese culture, Chinese daily lives too. Actually, before the interaction, I was really nervous and worried. I'm not sure if Steve would like our culture and the activities I have prepared for him, but the result shows that it is a successful interaction, and I'm sure it would be both of our unforgettable experience. On the day of the Mid Autumn Festival, in the afternoon, Steve comes to our apartment with a little gift, and this would be a same thing between our cultures. I guess it is a global ethic to bring something when visit other people's house. We go to buy the materials for cooking dinner together in a nearby Chinese store, and he says that there are a lot of things. He has never seen before in a local supermarket, and he really wants to taste the Chinese cuisine. After buying all the materials, we have come back home and make the meal together. Also, try to make a kind of local mooncake from my hometown, which is a lot of fun. He said that this is like what they will do on Thanksgiving Day. Friend or family would stay together and make food by themselves, but instead of mooncake, they will make the pies and eat turkey. During the dinner, Steve kept saying that he was so happy to have a chance to join us, and he really likes our food, which makes me really happy. After having a dinner, my roommate has driven us to Lake Lansing and enjoy the moonlight. Because I can't find enough material to make the lantern, I can only skip this step today. But if I have bought all the things I need one day, I would be very happy to make a lantern for Steve. As giving lantern to friend also means sending the best blessing. This is quite different as what Steve will do on the festival. He said after the meal, he would stay in the home and watch the football team on the sofa. Rather than going out, Steve has also introduced the Christmas to me, which is my favorite Western festival. During the Christmas, they would make the Christmas tree and give gift to each other. I think there are some comments, but also some differences. But the great wish for the new lives is the same. While sitting near the lake and viewing the moon, we have talked about the attachment to the family. In China, to follow the ethic of Li, the children shouldn't live far away with their parents, especially when the parents are old. In order to take care of them and make them wouldn't feel lonely, the children should visit the parents several times a week. This makes Steve really surprised, because he told me that the parents in America would encourage children to go to other cities. Or even other countries, to take advantages and see the world in their own viewing angles. If the children still live with their parents after they are growing up already, others will feel they don't have the ability to live by themselves. However, he said there are some places he needs to learn from me, like getting in touch with their parents sometimes and always tell parents about his recent lives. So he decided to get contact with his mother after going back home, and this is an unforgettable memory for me too. I think I have learned some things I don't know before. 
like the culture from this hometown, and I also know in other countries, parents would put a different kind of hope on their children. Although we have so many differences, we can hang out and spend a great time together. I think that means the different culture among the globe could mix and learn from each other in some kind too. It's so great for me to know that Chinese culture is being liked by so many people, and I think if I had chance, I would try my effort to bring the Chinese culture to the United States. I'm really looking forward to the second interactions that he is going to show me the culture of his, because I am really interested in the foreign cultures. So I hope Steve could bring me to experience the things I don't know before and make me able to know more about the environment he is living.